Okay, cool. So uh, let's try this next one, and we'll see if your question's answered just by watching, okay? Because honestly, the best way to learn something is that you want to think of it like another language. The best way to learn it is to just keep doing it, keep talking, keep talking, and keep understanding why are we doing this way, you know? Why are we doing it this way? And, uh, we can learn all the theory we want, but that doesn't teach us how to solve problems, you know what I'm saying? I can teach you, this is a subject, this is a you know, preposition, this is, but you don't think about that when you're talking to me, you know what I'm saying? It's like me trying to um, teach you how to walk, you know what I'm saying? You got to put, you got to move your knee and then your ankle and da da da, you know? You don't think about that stuff, you just do it, you know? So that's what you want to do with chemistry, you know? And algebra, actually. So let's try this one. Um, a five liter sample of a gas at 25 degrees Celsius. So, and 3 atm is compressed at a constant temperature to a volume of one liter. What is the new pressure? So let's write down what we know. Do we know the initial volume, or V1? Yes. Yeah, what is it? Five liters, 5.0 in this case. 5.0 liters. Uh, the temperature, do we know the initial temperature? T1, yeah, 25 degrees Celsius. Um, what about the initial pressure? Do we know that? Yes. Yeah, P1 is 3.0 atm. Then it says it's compressed at a constant temperature. So what would T2 be then? 25 degrees Celsius. So do we need that part for the problem? Because it doesn't change, right? So we don't have to worry about it. Can I erase that? Okay. So now we're kicking, right? That's awesome. Okay, so to a volume of one liter, so what is that? Volume is going to be what? V2, right? So um, what is the new pressure? So what are we looking for? P2, right? Okay, so again, if you wanted to memorize Boyle's Law, you're more than welcome to. Let's just do it again, okay? So P, V, and R, T, 1, 1, 1, 1, P2, V2, N2, R, T, 2. Now we already said T didn't change, right? So we can cancel that out straight away. R never changes, cancel that one out. Did the number of moles change? No, right? So we can cancel that out. So this equals 1, right? What are we looking for? P2, right? Okay, so let's do it this way. Let's do it a different way. Instead of flipping it, let's just do it a different way, okay? So we've got that same equation, P2, V2. And uh, what you'll see is what we're going to be doing is flipping it piece by piece or something like that, okay? So we could do it a number of ways. Let's just multiply both sides by P2, V2. And in fact, this is the fastest way to do it. The reason I had you guys flip it is because of later problems. It's a good thing to know how to do in algebraic equations, okay? So um, what we can do is multiply both sides by P2, V2, right? Like that, right? And what happens when we do that? P2 cancels, V2 cancels, right? And what do I get on this side? P2, V2, right? That's Boyle's law, right? Okay. So, what do I have? P1, V1 equals P2, V2. But what am I looking for? So this, what I'm doing is called isolating the variable, right? The variable I'm looking for is P2. So, that's what I want to isolate, okay? How do I isolate that now? Divide everything by V2, right? When I do that, V2 cancels, okay? And P1, V1 divided by P, V2 equals P2, right? Is everybody cool with that? And just to not be confusing, let's just erase this because I know that when you're first learning how to do that, it kind of gets confusing when there's a lot of equals next to each other. Okay? You cool with that? So everybody can get there? So, now what do we do? 
plug and chug, right? Okay, so um, do we know what P1 is? Yeah, 3.018 uh, atm, right? Do we know what V1 is? 1.0 liters. And do we know what um, V2 is? 1.0 liters. Can any of our units cancel out? Yeah. So do you see why I do it that way? So I can cancel those units, you know? And I know it's easy enough to just plug everything in there and just flop everything around, you know? But this way you get the right answer right away. You know what I'm saying? Um, so what units am I going to get out here? ATM. ATM. Is that pressure unit? Yes. Yeah, so we've done, done it right, okay? So what, what is this? Should we get out our calculator? So 3 times 5. So is it 15.0 or just 15, right? Why is that? 2, 6, 2, 6, 2, 6, or really 2, 2, 2, like that. Any questions on this one? Do you see what we did? That's the same but different, you know? We can do it another way, too. We could do it like we wanted to do if we want to plug in everything and then move them around. Because that's all, that's all others are doing when they're, you know, plugging. They're just moving later, you know, because you have to do all those steps. Okay.